NASA uses deep space science missions to explore the underlying fabric of the universe. These missions provide data on the giant gaseous planets such as Jupiter and Saturn, their moons, and other solar system objects such as asteroids and comets. These missions are vital to understanding the origins of the universe. Historically, deep space missions have relied on radioisotope power systems for energy because solar power is not practical beyond Mars. The nuclear isotope that powers these systems is plutonium-238. NASA has used plutonium-238 systems, developed in part by the Los Alamos National Laboratory, safely and reliably for over 40 years. Currently, the United States has recognized that there is a potential shortage of plutonium-238, and the Department of Energy is restarting production of this valuable isotope. To enhance NASA's exploration capabilities, Los Alamos is proposing a very small uranium-based reactor as a supplement to radioisotope power systems for some deep space missions. This will reduce the demand for plutonium-238 and allow it to be available for missions where radioisotope systems are the only practical option. The small reactor system proposed by Los Alamos is very simple and relies on many well-established technologies. The proposed reactor is made up of six pieces, a reactor core, core reflector, a rod to start the reactor, heat pipes to move energy, radiation shielding, and Stirling engines for power. The power source is a 50-pound cylinder of enriched uranium that is approximately 4 inches in diameter. A beryllium reflector that is approximately 10 inches in diameter surrounds the uranium core. The entire reactor core is about 12 inches tall. A single rod of boron carbide is used to turn the reactor on or off. The reactor uses well-established nuclear physics to self-regulate the fission reactions and eliminates the need for complicated control systems. Eight heat pipes that are embedded in the beryllium reflector remove heat produced in the reactor core. Heat pipes are passive heat removal devices that efficiently move thermal energy. Heat pipes were invented at Los Alamos in 1963. Since then, heat pipes have gone mainstream and are used in applications ranging from electronics to the Alaskan pipeline. If you own a laptop, its cooling system likely uses heat pipes. Heat pipes remove the need for complicated coolant loops and pumps in this reactor. The heat pipes connect to eight Stirling engines that produce the electricity for the spacecraft. Stirling engines, initially developed in the 19th century, are becoming a very reliable and robust power conversion technology particularly for low-power applications, both commercially and as part of NASA's Advanced Stirling Radioisotope Generator. The proposed small reactor could produce 500 watts of power from eight Stirling engines weighing about three pounds each. A radiation shield lies between the reactor core and the Stirling engines. The shield protects the electronics in the Stirling engines, the spacecraft, and scientific instruments. The small reactor system proposed by Los Alamos would have many advantages. The design is simple and relies on existing technologies. It would be very safe and very easy to manufacture. It would also rely on materials that the United States has in abundance. Taking this reactor from the drawing board to a launch into space would be easier than most nuclear systems. Because the reactor doesn't operate until it is in space, accidents on the ground or during launch have minimal public impact. The use of uranium fuel and the low power of the reactor mean that safety and regulatory issues are greatly reduced or eliminated. The simplicity of the system makes design and testing straightforward. Los Alamos sees this small nuclear reactor as a stepping stone to a reinvigoration of nuclear reactors for space applications. This small reactor could be scaled up to more challenging applications like surface power sources on Mars or spacecraft propulsion using electrically driven ion thrusters. Scientists and engineers have always acknowledged that the future of many space missions will only be feasible with reliable and safe nuclear energy. Now is the time to take a bold step into the future.